The Boston Globe reports that President Obama will keep the lid on millions of pages of military and intelligence documents that were scheduled to be declassified by the end of the year. The missed deadline spells trouble for the White House's promises to introduce an era of government openness, say advocates, who believe that releasing historical information enforces a key check on government behavior. They cite, as an example, the abuses by the CIA during the Cold War, including domestic spying and assassinations of foreign officials that were publicly outlined in a set of agency documents known as the Family Jewels. The documents in question, all more than 25 years old, were scheduled to be declassified on December 31st under an order originally signed by President Bill Clinton and amended by President George W. Bush. But now Obama finds himself in the awkward position of extending the secrecy, despite his repeated pledges of greater transparency, because his administration has been unable to prod spy agencies into conformance. In the face of these complications, the White House has given the agencies a commitment that they will get an extension beyond December 31st of an undetermined length possibly years, say administration officials, who spoke on the condition of anonymity. It will be the third such extension. Clinton granted one in 2000, and Bush granted one in 2003. Stephen Aftergood, a specialist on government secrecy at the Federation of American Scientists in Washington, says the failure to meet the disclosure deadline, quote, does not augur well. If binding deadlines can be extended more or less at will, then any new declassification requirements will be similarly subject to doubt or defiance.